I haven't been able to get out for the last couple of weekends, but did manage to get into the tap shop the other day and um, in preparation for the weekend, and I came across the the new um, squid tracks uh, by by Nomad Design. So it's basically a um, uh, squid shaped version of their of their vibes or their, their vertrex so I figured well I'll do a bit of a um a unboxing slash test review. So I've got the Squid Trex 150 uh, so I can get it down deep enough really I'll be chasing the nannies with this one. Yeah glow enhanced uh, squid scent got all their details there lengths weights depths um, it is a vibrating and sinking Lure, so yeah, we look on the back here. Um, bit of a bit of a rundown, bit of a spiel uh, there. So apparently, can be jigged vertically, cast, uh, or even trolled. Uh, and then we've got a swim action video link there as well. So the all new squid vibe. The squid tracks is unlike anything you've ever fished. It's got a patent pending design. <laughs> Anyway, so there's a video there. I'll, I'll put a, a link in the description. Um, yeah, all right. So let's, uh, let's pour it out and uh, see what it looks like. All right. All right. Okay, so that's that's us there basically. Uh, this guy, he was about twenty-seven dollars. We've got our assist hooks there. Um, we might put another hook down on the bottom as well. Uh, just uh, similar kind of idea as to what they've got on their on their general on their vibes here. Um, so we'll just go a single hook down the bottom there. Um, but yeah. Alright, so we've done the um, unboxing review of the old squid tricks. So, been pretty much bait fishing all night, and um, I reckon we'll, we'll give this guy a go shortly. Just dropping a bait down now. Alright, time has come. We're going to um, got a bait in, but uh, and we're just sort of drifting along. We'll um, yeah, we'll stick this um, new squid tricks. Uh, on, um, what have we got out? The 150 wasn't it? Yep, so yeah, we're in probably about 40, 50, well, about 50 meters of water at the moment, so yeah, well, um, yeah, I'll put a, a metal wire trace on it just to, yeah, hopefully I can keep it for a little bit longer, not get busted off by a shark or mackerel as quickly and easily, but um, yeah, apparently these, um, you can just pull them up off the off the bottom off the floor a few meters and just let them drift along so because we're drift fishing that's what i'll do so I'll, um we'll drop him down and um wind him up a couple of meters and and just let him uh s s swim along in the water actually let's see how he how's he look in the water all right Sitting there, he's probably a couple of meters off the bottom. Um, yeah, quite often the nannies will like to sit, you know, in the bottom of five um, meters of water. I mean, they'll sit anywhere in the water column, but so we'll give that a go. And um, yeah, we're looking here, what's the bottom looking like? All right, so we're drifting through. There's quite just a heap of good ground all through there, and look, yeah, there's stuff on the a lot of stuff down there, so no, fingers crossed. A oh, shark straight up.
Yeah, I reckon this is probably a shark. On oh, my brand new squid tracks. I did put a wire trace on it for this reason, but yeah. Uh, all right, I gotta get this other line in. I wanna chase this guy too. I want this lure back. I want it back. I better start chasing then. <laughs> Let's see again. Brand new Squid Trex lure, straight up. Hardly makes it wild. worthwhile though, eh? $30, $27 a pop. You get sharked that easily and quickly. Ah, oh, that's fishing, but still. Oh, I want my Squid Trex back. <laughs> oh, he's gonna spool me soon. Oh, I might report back. All right, well, I think that's um, Squid Trek's gone. <laughs> oh. That is a real shame. Oh, how's that looking? Um, yeah, anyway. Oh, bugger. I guess that marks the end of my Squid Trex review. Um, didn't really get to give it a good go, but I don't know, it looked good and moved in the water nicely and I could I could feel when I was jigging up it, it had a really good vibe on the way up so yeah might have just been a little bit unlucky today so I don't know yeah it was a bit of a disappointing end to the trip really it's a bit of a shame to to end it on that note uh, I guess just a bit of a bit of a dose of reality I suppose um, would have would have liked to have shown you guys um, some good fish uh, or, or have caught some good fish uh, on on that but yeah I, I mean I've got some other videos you can, <laughs> you can see me pulling up some fish if you yeah, if you want to see fish coming on board but um, yeah will, will I get another one um, well, probably at probably at this stage no um, you know like I was a bit unlucky in that instance and um, and whatnot but look I think um, you know, if you compare it to using a bit of bait and um, and, and a hook, I mean, I, I just lost a $27, um, you know, squid tracks basically. And, um, you know, if, if it was just a hook and a sinker and a bit of line, that'd be, you know, three or $4. So I think for now, I, I probably won't get another one. Um, I, I do have the Vertrex um, there still as well. So I'll still use that and um, whether I might, either just incorporate uh, trying that in another video or whether I'll do a review on that I don't, I don't I don't know that I'll I'll probably try and review that one but yeah I'll definitely give it a go and uh, it's going to be very similar um yeah so yeah I've got that Vertrex here I just wasn't game to use it I, I'd, after I just lost the squid trace to a shark yeah, it wasn't wasn't too keen um but yeah so um yeah, I guess realistically, I just really don't have a final verdict on, on a yay or nay for it. Um, I mean, some people just don't like fishing with bait and um, just, just want to use lures and, you know, that may may suit them. Uh, for, me, uh, for me at the moment, I think it's probably going to be more economical just to use the, the bait. But um, again, I didn't really get a chance to, to give it a good, a good go, so I can't really say. But, um, you know, at least hopefully you guys got to sort of see someone yeah trying to use it <laughs> up close um I, I know they sold out pretty quickly so if you didn't get a chance to get your hands on one um then yeah hopefully at least you got to got to see my uh, me feeding mine to a shark so <laughs> but anyway um yeah thanks for watching and um see you see you next time